there's no replacement for these five things. And it, I could say in no particular order, but let's just say, let's start with one that everyone needs to get sufficient amount of quality sleep most nights. Eight hours? Some six people hours. need five. Most people need between six and eight. Mm -hmm. Teenagers, young kids, let them sleep as much as they want. Here's the thing. I'm a, I'm a night owl. I love to I go okay. to bed later. It's okay. Whenever right. is allows you to feel functional for your life. Okay. Okay. Um, and that sometimes changes over time. Sure. Okay. So for me, I need about seven hours a night. Mm. I can get by on six, eight, sometimes great. More than eight, I start feeling groggy. Mm. So try and get that most nights of your life. Nobody's perfect. Okay. Nobody's perfect and things happen. Sleep. Okay. Very important. Sleep is very important. Mm. Try and make sure you're getting sleep. If you wake up in the middle of the night, use Reverie or NSDR or some other tool to help you get back to sleep. And we have a sleep toolkit at huberbinlab.com, completely zero cost. You don't have to sign up. You can just download it. It has all the stuff to help you optimize sleep. Okay. Okay. Sleep is number one. Number two, it is important to get movement, like about it, and ideally an hour a day of some sort of movement. Okay. If you're skateboarding, great. Walking? Walking's low key at a minimum, but you're trying to get some movement where your heart rate's up and your breathing. Vigorous movement. Yeah. So skateboarding could be many hours, but you know, depending on, but an hour a day of weightlifting or cycling. running or cycling or <laughs> Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, if that's your thing. Or, Jump rope. What's that? Jump rope. Jump rope is great. So, so vigorous so, movement. Movement. Get yes. some movement. Get your heart rate up. Get your breathing up. Okay. You'll, you'll live longer. You'll feel better. So many reasons. Beautiful. Cardiovascular health, brain health, so many reasons. Okay. So sleep, movement every day. Mm -hmm. If you miss one day per week, that's okay, but then get right back to it. Just figure out a way. Okay. Hotel room, doesn't matter. Could mm -hmm. be burpees, could be jumping jacks, whatever. Nope. Next one, sunlight. Get some sunlight in your eyes, ideally in the morning. If you wake up before the sun comes out, flip on bright lights and then get outside once the sun is out. Just get as much sunlight as you can. Wear sunscreen if that's your thing. Mm -hmm. Some people do, some people don't, but just like, so don't burn, don't get skin cancer, but get sunlight in your eyes and don't stare at the sun. Gotcha. You. You'll know if you're staring at it too long because it'll hurt. <laughs> like, you know. Nighttime, yeah. reverse that. Nighttime, just limit the limit. bright light exposure. Dim right. those lights, maybe buy the inexpensive red light red bulbs. Light bulbs. And really like the cheapest ones are great. Okay. You're really just trying to get dim red light. Okay. If you want to do red light therapy, that's a whole other discussion. Okay, so then it's sunlight is the third. Nutrition. Yes. Keto, carnivore, omnivore, you know, vegan, vegetarian, whatever. Just try and get 75 to 80% of your food from non-processed or minimally processed foods. And if you can get 100% of it from that, great. But, you know, you got to live life every once sure. in a while. You got to have an ice cream cone, like, yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. slice of pizza. It's Chip, okay. You know? You're not going to dissolve into a puddle of tears, you know, hopefully. <laughs> so that's really key. Okay. And then, of course, some people are overweight. They need to lose weight. Some people are underweight. They need to gain weight. Some people like to, don't like to eat early in the day. I don't really like to eat breakfast. I'm more of a first meal around 10, 11. Me too. But like today I knew I was coming here and I was kind of hungry because I went to bed so damn early last night. So I ate on the way here. Okay. So figure out what works for you. Then the next thing would be, so we've got sleep, movement, mm -hmm. sunlight, nutrition. Yep. Social connection. Social uh, connection. Just make... Do what you can to make the interactions that you have online and in reality with friends, with family, like as healthy as possible. And listen, I'm no psychologist, but I can tell you that sometimes the best way to think about it is, and this sounds really kind of woo, but I, I, you know, whatever, I'm 47, I can, I'm comfortable and enough with myself, I can say this. I believe as being as in contact with people as allows you to be in your most loving stance. And sometimes that means not at all, right? There's some people like you just like in order to continue to love them at all, you just cannot communicate with these people. Some people, because you have to communicate with them and it's a nightmare, you just try and make it as minimal as possible. Other people, you adore them, spend as much time with them as you possibly can. Right. I really mean that. Like your friends, your family, like your partner, whoever, like your kid, if you adore them, spend as much time with them as you possibly can while not giving up your profession and your health, sure. right? And some people are more introverted, some people are more extroverted, it's just all of that, but quality social connection. And then I think the one thing we left out 
is hydration. Mm, yes. Try and drink enough water, make mm -hmm. sure you get enough electrolytes. That's key too. Once you have those things in place and you make, and I would list them out. I, I list, I'd certainly list them out. And I'm just like, am I paying attention to these things each mm. day? Cause when I don't, I start to veer more toward the kind of high performance stuff. Cause yes, get your cold shower, your ice bath. But if you're doing that, but you're not paying attention to your sleep or you're eating not well, mm -hmm. well then you're, you're focusing on the wrong things. But those five things are your, your core of, they're gonna give you buoyancy. You do, I guarantee if you do those five things, pay attention to those things every day, there's zero probability you, you know, that you're gonna fail overall, right? Yeah. There's just no way. Your mental health and physical health is gonna benefit. There's just, it, it's inevitable. That the issue is that people start thinking about what's the magic solution. And the one exception to this is if somebody is so depressed or in a psychotic episode, or they're just so like pinned down by trauma, that's when you really have to say, okay, you know, there's some other interventions. Sure, but I think that sure. the great success of a guy like David Goggins, mm -hmm. who I happen to be blessed to know and is ex every bit as intense as he appears, I always say, and it's true, is that he was really back on his heels in life, like super overweight, working a job he hated, all this stuff, hating himself. And rather than say, okay, I got to get my life in order and then I'm going to start doing all the things to take care of myself. He, it's like light bulb went off and he started do taking care of himself. Right. I mean, and tons of running, running, but taking care of himself as a way to feel better, to be able to go do more. Mm -hmm. And so we tend to get it backwards. We yes. think when we're back on our heels, we need to like fix the problem and then get forward center of mass. And the, it's, these are actions and uh, you do every day. And um, again, there's zero cost. I didn't invent them. Right. I'm just here to, you know, share them where I can. And 